Hey everybody, my name is What Up Bra, and this video is going to be about Pixel Shot 3000, talking about all these tools you see on the side. So let's start off with the brush tool. You can quick select the brush tool by hitting F1, and what the brush tool does is you can draw anything you want. Um, you can draw this little squiggly line, for example, if you really wanted to, and you can see it on the sprite sheet there, or on the animation. You can see what it looks like in-game right there. And if you want to change the colors, you can go here, which pretty much any color you can possibly think of. Or if you want to just do a quick thing, click on this and it'll give you the basic colors that you might want. And with that, you can draw with... you can basically make anything you want with any color. The next tool we have to talk about is the flood tool. And you can select this by hitting F2. And what this tool does is, when you click on one of the pixels, every attached pixel with the same exact color as when you pick, will be flooded with the color you've selected. So, I'll give a few examples here. So wherever I click, um, every single pixel that's attached to it, or close by, that has the same color, will be flooded with the color I've selected. Moving on, we now have the Select Color tool. You can choose this by either clicking F3, and it'll bring it up, or you can actually hit Control alt and it'll automatically come up. So what this tool does is, when you have it out and you click on a color, that color is automatically put onto your brush. So, um, you can see right here I'm drawing, and this is the exact same color as the eye that I just clicked on. This is useful if you're working on something, and then you're like, oh, I should, I should fix that, but I don't remember what color I used, so it's really useful in that sense. The rectangular selection tool can be used by hitting F4, and it does exactly what it sounds. If you hold and click, it selects an area in the form of a rectangle and you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, you can move it around, you can copy and paste it to um, another area of the sprite sheet. Um, but say I don't want this rectangular area. I Say I only want the face and the bottom of the hairline. You can actually hold control and click the pixels that you don't want to move. So you can see here I'm clicking out the pixels of the hair that I don't want because I only want the lower portion of the hair. And when I've selected all the pixels that I want. I can actually drag this and it'll drag only the pixels that I've selected, not the ones I don't want. And you can see even though it's in the form of a rectangle, it only moves the select the selected pixels. If you're wondering why you don't see an erase tool in these in this toolbar, there actually is an erase tool. It's called the alpha tool. And you can select it by hitting F5. And what this does is you'll see that the background just turned green. Uh, the green means that it's see through. Um, and with the alpha tool, you can actually, um, it's just like erasing. So you pick all the pixels that you want to erase, just like that. And the green should come up as the background, because that means it's see-through. And you can see that if you look on the animation sheet, um, my character, the part that I just erased, is see-through. It's transparent, because I'm erasing the colored pixels. Next on the list is the fill alpha tool. And this tool is essentially just the alpha tool put into the fill tool. So if I want to select a huge area um, all, by all attached pixels and they're all the same color, all I have to do is uh, select the fill alpha tool and click and you can see that that whole area was the same color so it all got filled in. And just a few more examples. And you can see that if you go to the animation sheet, it's actually all transparent. So here's an interesting situation that would require the swap color tool. And you can select that by hitting F7. And you'll notice that when I hit it, um, black background comes up. That means you've selected it. And what this does is you'll notice that there's this green part. And say I wanted to change it to the skin color part, to the skin color. Um, you can go up to your recently used colors right here. And here's the green. So I can right click on that. And you'll notice that it comes up as the bottom color. Remember, the bottom is very important. And I want the skin color, and it's right there, so I can left-click that, and it's on the top. Remember, the top is the one you're going to swap out for the bottom color. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. I just have to um, hold and click, and it's, see that it's swapping out the green and changing it to the skin color. And only is it swapping out the green. So this tool is it's limited in its uses, but... Um, it can be useful in certain situations. The final tool we have to talk about is the grade tool, which is right here, and you can 
quick select it by hitting F8. And what this does is you'll notice that there's two squares again with two colors. And uh, when I click, it actually blends those two colors together, like here. You can see that it starts with the top color, yellow, and it gradually blends into the bottom color, which is the turquoise. Now, if you don't like this blend, say you want it to be a quicker blend, go to the tool settings, hit grade, and bring it down a notch. They say like that. And you'll notice that when I click now, there's less yellow and more blue because it blends faster. Or if you want to go the opposite way, and when and you want to have more yellow, you can see that when I click, there's it, uh, it blends a little bit, but not as much. And this tool is useful if you want to make things look even. You want to blend one color into the next, so it's a, a good change from one color to the other. All right, it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you guys next week. Remember to subscribe by hitting the skull if you haven't already. And leave me a like if you guys want to see some more PS3K videos, because uh, I'm willing to do some if you guys want them.